Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you about my project that is bike service booking management system, which I have developed using Spring Boot and React. So the technologies which I have used for developing the projects are Spring Boot for the backend, React JS for the front end, and for the database, I have used MySQL softwares used for developing the project. So for backend, I have used HTS that is Spring Tool Suite. Also, we can use Eclipse IDE. For the front end, I have used VS Code Editor and for the database, I have used MySQL Workbench. User modules present in the project. So the project basically contains two modules. The first one is the administrator and the second one is customer module. Functional modules present in the project. So the very first and the important functional module is user authentication module. The registration and the login system has been added so that only authenticated users can perform their functionality. The second module is the bike module wherein add bike, view my bikes, view all bikes functionalities will be present. The third module is the booking module in which customer can book the service, view booking status, view booking history, view all customer bookings, cancel booking and update the booking status, all functionalities will be there. The fourth module is servicing module wherein view servicing details, add the servicing fee and update the servicing status, functionalities will be there. And the last module is the payment module wherein view customer wallet, add money in wallet, pay from the wallet after the servicing, pay via cash mode, functionalities will be there. Now let's see the project overview. So as we know, our project contains two modules that is the customer and the admin. So firstly, customer will register and login into the system. Then after the login, customer can add the bike in the system and he can add multiple bikes in it. Okay. Then after adding the bikes, now customer can basically book for the bike service. Okay. By selecting the bike. So for booking, what he have to do is he have to select the bike for uh, which he want the servicing. Okay. So by selecting the bike and by selecting the servicing date, he can book for the bike service. Then after that, admin will log in into the system and he will be able to see all the customer bookings. So now based on the time availability, admin can approve or cancel the booking. So let's suppose he approves the booking, then customer will be able to see the updated booking status. Now after that, customer will visit to the servicing center on the booking date then after the servicing admin will be able to update the servicing fee and update the servicing status okay so when he will click on the update button then the servicing fee from the customer wallet will get debited and after that his booking and the servicing status will get updated and at the end admin and the customer will be able to see the updated status of his booking so this was the basic overview of the project now let's see the complete project in detail but before that I would like to request you guys to please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it takes lots of time for development of such type of project. Students can use this for the learning purpose and they can also refer this project to create their own projects. So please do subscribe my channel it will motivate me to create more such projects. Now without wasting any time let's see the complete project in detail. So let's open HTS as I have already told like I have used HTS for uh, development of the backend Spring Boot application. So this is our bike service management project. This is the complete project structure. As I've already told, like I have used Maven for the project and the dependency management. So these are the project structure here. Okay. We can see all the packages here. Controller, DAO, DTU, Entity, Interceptor and all the things. Application.properties and the pom.xml file. And let's also see the front end project structure. So this is our React project. Okay, we can see all the components here, bike component, booking component, images, user component and all the things. So without wasting any time, let's run both our project. So let's run the backend project firstly. So for that, I will right click on the project in the HTS, then run as, then click on the Spring Boot app. Let it run now. Okay. So we can see here started bike service management application on port 8080. Let's run our front end project also. So for running the react project, we simply have to hit command npm start npm start hit enter and it will run. It may take some time, uh, but let it run. Okay, 
so our front end is running uh, and it has started now since our complete project is running fine let's see the project functionality in detail so firstly so firstly in the navigation bar we'll be able to see register customer and login option so firstly let's register as a customer in the system so here uh, one thing i want to tell you here is whatever data here i'll use are just the dummy data okay which i'll use for the project overview okay so i'll write here demo customer click on the register user customer user registered successfully now let's log in so here use the same email id enter the correct password then only we will be able to log in into the system logged in successfully after the customer login customer will get some more options in the navigation bar the first one is my wallet okay so let's click on it and here we can see the wallet rupees is zero okay here it should be zero i'll fix that okay but let's suppose here i want to add the money let's suppose oh, i want to add 500 then i'll update the wallet here and money added in the wallet successfully and now we can see 500 rupees here okay similarly i want to add, add oh, 100 more then update it money added it's now 600 rupees okay now the next option is add bike so let's add one bike okay so my bike name is demo bike 100 company demo company model number demo 100 registration number a b c d 1 2 3 4 5 6 the data which I am entering here are just dummy data okay so now we can see the complete bike detail here which I have added let's add uh, two more bike okay demo bike 300 model number demo 300 a b c d 0 0 0 0 0 add bike okay so here uh, i have added two bikes okay so now i can see the bike also here two bikes got added here just now which i have added here then after that the next option is book service okay so here customer have to select the bike for which he wants the servicing okay so let's suppose i want the uh, servicing for the second bike okay that is demo bike 300 i'll select it and he, from here i can select the date also let's suppose i want uh, the uh, booking i want to book the service for date 30 so i'll select it and i'll click on the book and now here we can see bike booked successfully please check the uh, approval status okay in the dashboard so this is the complete detail booking detail okay we can see your booking date like the date on which i have booked it and the book date is 30 okay and the uh, booking status is pending servicing status is also pending servicing fee is zero because till now uh, admin has not approved it okay and the payment mode is pending and the payment status is also pending now let's book for the first bike also okay and that i want on 23rd only okay so i'll book it and uh, again i can see here for the demo bike 100 that is our first bike the booking booked date is 23 okay so let's suppose i want to cancel it cancel uh, any booking okay i can cancel it at any time okay but the main thing is booking status should not be approved by the admin if it is approved by the admin then uh 
customer will not get the option to cancel that booking okay so now since the booking status is pending okay so this customer can basically cancel this booking okay because it is pending now it, it is not approved uh, from the admin side so let's uh, cancel the booking for the first one okay so cancel booking i'll click here booking updated successfully and now as soon as i cancelled the booking uh, the button uh, from here got disappeared okay and the booking status got cancelled here okay now what i will do i will log out as a customer and i will log in as a admin okay i will log in as an admin and will check the customer booking status so for that i have to register as an admin okay so for register as an admin we have created one separate url okay that is uh, we just have to replace this customer with the admin okay i have not given the direct link here okay register link here so we have to uh, add this manual here okay so again i will use the dummy data for the registration of admin also uh, okay enter this email id demo admin 60 last name i will enter the password select gender i am entering your dummy contact number age 25 street demo street city pin code dummy pin code register user so admin registered successfully now i will log in as an admin okay so i will use the same email id here dummy email id enter the correct password which i had used during the registration then here after the admin login admin will be able to see three options in the navigation bar the very first one is view all bikes so basically admin will be able to see all the customer bikes then after that the next option is view all customers so from here admin will be able to see all the customers who has registered into the system now after this the next option is view all booking so i'll click on it and here admin will be able to see all the customer bookings okay so here uh, we can see the customer has cancelled just now we had cancelled the booking right so we are able to see the booking status is cancelled and for the second one it is pending it is showing pending here okay so yeah let's click on it okay and also uh, we are not able to see the verify button here verify booking button here why because this is cancelled okay so now admin can click on the verify booking and here admin can see the complete detail of customer his bike okay and the booking date when he has booked and for what date he has booked okay so now uh, admin will click on the verify booking button then here he will get two options the first one is booking status and the second one is service st uh, status okay uh, firstly you have to approve the booking status so he can click on the approved here and he will update the status okay so booking updated successfully and uh, we can see here now booking status is approved okay but service uh, servicing status is still pending because till now servicing is not done so now uh, once it is approved then customer will visit to the servicing center okay then after his servicing after his bike servicing okay uh, again admin will open this page by clicking on the verify booking button okay and now this time he have to update these things okay so let's suppose sir his servicing is done okay his bike servicing is done so now service status i'll select as completed for the payment mode i will select as wallet okay last time if you see like when i had registered uh, logged in as customer i had added 16 uh, sorry 600 rupees in it okay in the wallet so let's suppose service fee is 500 okay and uh, if i select the payment mode as wallet okay then i'll click on the update service status okay booking updated successfully okay and we can see here the servicing status is completed and the servicing fee is 500 and the payment mode is wallet and the payment status is also completed okay so now i will uh, log out as an admin okay login as a customer to see the 
booking status okay now let's click on the booked services and here we can see the booking status is approved servicing status is completed servicing fee is 500 and the payment mode is wallet and the payment status is completed okay so now here we can see how uh, previously in our wallet uh, we had 600 rupees okay but here the servicing fee is 500 and uh, i had selected as payment mode now it should be 100 okay so i click on my wallet and here we can see the wallet balance is uh, only rupees 100 now in the similar way let me book the one more bike for the servicing okay that is the first one okay on uh, 31st book it and this time uh, let's pay using the cash mode okay and let's see what will happen okay yeah we can see here it is pending and i will log out as a customer and again i will log in as an admin yeah and now i will click on view all bookings then here we can see the latest booking here i will click on the booking i will click on the uh, approve and without approving the booking status we cannot update the servicing status okay this is also very important now it is approved now again admin will click on the verify button and let's uh, pay via cash mode this time okay uh, servicing fee is let's suppose thousand rupees okay we are paying thousand rupees by cash mode okay so update the service status okay this time the payment mode is cash and the servicing fee is thousand that means amount should not get debited from the wallet okay i will log out as admin i will log in as a customer again And here we can see the servicing fee is thousand payment mode is cash and in my wallet 100 rupees is present now let's suppose uh, there is insufficient balance in a uh, wallet balance and we are trying to pay via wallet balance then it will not allow to update the servicing status okay so that is also important mode that's why i have added the cash mode also so that was the complete overview of the project i hope you guys liked each and every functionalities which i have added in this project and also i have added lots of backend functionalities in the spring boot application so that will be very beneficial for students for the learning purpose and they can also refer this for creating their own project and also i hope you guys liked the video too if you did please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel it will motivate me to create more such interesting projects and videos for you guys we will meet soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye